Ian, as I stand here today, I'm filled with happiness, love, and gratitude. Happiness, because we have chosen one another as life partners. Love because all of our friends and family are here to witness this momentous occasion. And gratitude because you continue to push me to be the best version of myself. Jess, you are the love of my life and I couldn't be more excited for what this day means. I commit to a life of being present, sharing, and learning. Learning how to be better communicators and champions for one another sharing our emotions and knowing that they are safe in the other's hands. Today I stand here to tell you that I choose you and will continue to choose you. I wish you both enough sunshine so that your life together shines bright and enough cloudiness so that you can appreciate the sunshine in your life. I wish you enough patience so that you can persevere even when the going gets tough. I wish for both of you enough love and caring so each day you can remember the secret to a long marriage is no secret. It is just hard work, perseverance, and communication. show my roots have dried in the wind my blow when the flood comes rising nothing to hold clear out bay when the thunder rolls oh. look at my face time's drawing a line I cross in the lost with the road I still don't know, but I hope you'll find What a view! <laughs> You are kind, loyal, and supportive. You make me laugh even when I don't want to. You hold me tight and let me cry when I need to. And you lick the plate after I make a salmon dinner or poached <laughs> eggs breakfast, which secretly gives me a sense of satisfaction. <laughs> you have worked to perfect the cauliflower crust pizza each week, even though you don't eat it because you know how much I enjoy it. The partner I have found in you has exceeded my wildest dreams. As you know, family means everything to me. And over the last several years, you have become an integral part of mine. I love that you look forward to Sunday dinners as much as I do, and that you have a unique and individual relationship with my mom, dad, Jerry, and Michael. I appreciate that you are just as content to sit on the couch and binge watch Vanderpump Rules or The Bachelor while eating chocolate chips as you are with traveling to Greece and hiking the Samaria Gorge. Through the ups and downs, you have been decisive and sure even when my confidence hit rock bottom. Your patience and calm demeanor have been a steadying force in our relationship. As I watch the way you care for Buddy and observe the bond between you two, I can easily see that you will be the most loving father when we have kids. I also know you're going to be a terrible disciplinarian. <laughs> <laughs> Early on in our relationship, we talked about the cliche idea of a soulmate. 
I shared with you that something I thought to be even more powerful and romantic was the idea of choice, choosing your partner and accepting them for who they are as a whole with all of your heart. Ian, mi amor, I choose you. I am proud of our growth both individually and as a couple over the last four years and I can't wait to see what's in store. I promise to choose you every day, to listen to you with an open heart and mind, treat you with compassion, kindness, and empathy. I promise to communicate with you using the tools and shared language we have worked hard to establish and develop. I promise to support you in your endeavors, challenge you, continuously strive to be a better partner, and to be intentional, intentional about making time for us to connect. With these promises, I know that we can overcome whatever challenges come. Getting to this point today, our love has never been flashy. We aren't the couple that seeks attention. It is ours and ours alone to cherish and cultivate. Our love has been reliable and consistent. We've gained tools along the way to handle life's speed bumps. We haven't had irregular maintenance issues. A Toyota Camry of love. <laughs> it lasts a lifetime and we can pass it down to our children. <laughs> We've been building our foundation all the while, forging shared interests. We started exercising early on with rock climbing in the gym and continued with playing tennis and then going to elevate. Though standing up here today, it's clear he takes fitness more seriously. <laughs> they look incredible. Uh, our, friend, our foundation is built on being present with each other, carving out dedicated time to sit at the dining room table with one another without any distractions, save for Buddy, who is the ultimate dinner time distraction, and I do apologize for years of enabling his poor behavior. <laughs> I've loved to watch you grow personally and professionally, watching you assume greater responsibility and popularity, popularity in the community and among your peers. I promise to be your biggest fan and cheerleader to help you rise and achieve anything you set your mind to. Your passion for things that matter and things that don't matter are infectious. You are caring, sensing, empathetic, and honest. Unless you're hungry, you're terrifying. <laughs> I'm so excited for the future. In the next few months, we will be buying our first house that our children will take their first steps in. You'll be a wonderful mother, loving and challenging them the way you have me. I love how we approach life together, even a dull day is made whole with you. I love your family, and I love how much you've embraced mine. I promise to grow with you and build the life we've talked and dreamed of. Jessica Miller-Wertheim, I choose you and cannot wait to be your husband. So, by the power invested in me by the Jewish community and the state of Colorado, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Do the thing. Time I get up, I'd fall. Had to put back together, but it fell apart. Then you can't fix my broken heart. Then you got me high, high, high. Oh, yeah, I'm finally high, high, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm singing out, singing out, singing out loud. Yeah, singing out, singing out loud. Hi, I'm Georgia. I'm, I'm Jess's maid of honor. Um, so, uh, so a, a little over a year ago, Ian called me to tell me he was going to propose to Jess, and that he wished that I and all of her other people could be there. He approached it all with such intention, dedication, and care, like he always does. And I told him, even though he wasn't asking for my approval, he had it. And he got me thinking, how do you know if someone is good enough for your best friend? Well, in a lot of ways, it was clear early on that Ian was it. There was an unwavering security in his love and dedication that would make any best friend proud. And they have always brought out the best in each other. Jess is always thanking me and everyone around her. But all I keep thinking this weekend is how much I want to thank her. What an honor it has been to stand beside these two remarkable human beings. So Ian and Jess, thank you for making this choice, for bringing us all together in this remarkable celebration of your love. I know I speak for all of the friends and family in this room when I say we are so thrilled because this is only the beginning. Congratulations. <laughs> One pack 
pattern, something I've always seen, or uh, I guess never seen with Ian growing up with him, was that him talking about girls and, and <laughs> girls he's dating. And, you know, it just wasn't something he, he talked much about. And so I knew something was very, very different when Ian started dating Jess because he started talking about Jess. And it was the first time that Ian was actually talking about someone that he truly cared about and, and someone that really meant something to him. And at that moment, I realized there was something special. And, and the first time I met her, I just understood. And, and my promise to you is, is I'm going to be here through your successes. I'll be here celebrating by your side. I'm going to be here supporting you through any hardships that you face in the future. I will always be here for you guys. And I love you guys. Um, and so with that, I just want to just raise, raise your glasses, quick toast to the bride and groom, to Ian and Jess, and their life of love and happiness. Cheers.